So I was watching 2022 John Cena Wipeout, and they were mentioning um, nipple waxing after sex. So I was like, yeah, where's a product? You know, like you wax your car. Guys love doing that. Well, after you, like, got, you know, your spermies on the tits, then you add a little, like, beeswax, whatever. And then, like, you could have one of those waxers, but, like, it's made for, like, skin. And while the woman's tits are all engorged and the nipples are hard, you know, you can wax around, you know, and, you know, really polish the titties, you know? I think it'd be uh, good for the health and uh, super erotic. I mean, I don't know what else to say about so probably, it. Probably just, just to be pointed out, though, because I don't want anybody getting the synthetic fibers. Yeah, it's, it has to probably be like lanolin, filled, yeah, like sheep wool or stuff. Something. It had to be or some sort of wool spinner. Yeah, I guess it could be goat or um, or llama. Yeah, people aren't allergic to them. Yeah, like fleece, softest yeah. fleece from like goats or llamas. Because yeah, um. Our neighbor up here back in the day, she had Angora goats or whatever, and she said that they were the softest fur of any animal, or at least any goat. Maybe there's rabbits you could use, you know, shave those rabbits, make them suffer. I mean, hair grows back. But anyways, the point is, I don't know, like, there's got to be some sort of animal. I mean, you could also go with, like, some sort of hemp soft, you know, like they make hemp clothing, it's all soft. Yeah, that's could, a better idea. Fuck better ideas. Yeah, fuck because all that. People could still be allergic to all of those animals. Yeah, they could be. But it, once again, hemp is hypoallergenic. Yeah, that'll work. And incredibly soft. The more you kind of beat on it. Yeah, right. The more you beat on it, the softer hemp gets. So that's the product. Uh, yeah, it needs to have little hemp things you set on the little spinner, and then yeah, it, you can adjust the speed. You know. That's why when people used to rough wash with those weird rickets, yeah. well, it would make hemp clothes softer, but it makes cotton clothes kind of rough, I'm pretty well, sure. I mean, I'm coming into this product as though it's just about sex, but really this product could just generally be used to super clean the body as well. Like, you'd have different attachments that are still soft, but... Yeah, slightly... Slightly different. bumps or something, and then they spin on your skin with, like, some soap you have or whatever, healthy soap, and yeah. it really exfoliate. Just saying, yeah, you know? I mean, you could have, like I was saying, Roman-style, one that works with some sort of body oil. Yeah. And then strip off the dead skin cells and reapply some sort of healthy herbal oils like yeah. lavender or something. Yeah, like you switch out, yeah, like before sex, you, uh, you know, you, you uh, loofah yourself, you know, and then afterwards, then you, you know, rub in the semen with the uh, other, you know, setting, you know? That works. Yeah, yeah, you're saying. Like, yep. Because then, you know, there's these people that are like, act like they're cats that are terrified yeah. of water. Then they can still, you know, clean each other by buffing their skin. Yeah, right. That. And it's fun and you still want to do it. It's pleasurable. But also, like, I just got to say, like, everybody gets so contaminated that even my semen 50% of the time isn't really edible. I guess eventually it'll always be edible again. But the point is just... There's toxins in the human body that makes it unpleasant tasting or too much hormones that aren't really good for another person. But it's usually good for their skin. Like, or the skin's the biggest organ. And, uh, you know, if your semen's too, you know, low quality, you know, low render rate, then uh, just to put, keep it on the skin, you know? Yeah, no NVIDIA yeah. come. Yeah. But, but, like... Yeah, I'm so confused with, like, I guess I'll get right into it because we're already discussing it, like, bukkakis and stuff. It's like, yeah, if the semen's low quality, then, like, you shouldn't put it in the woman's mouth even. It should just go all over the skin. Like, I'm so confused. Yeah, like, I never understood why you'd be into that. I, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it's specifically... Yeah. Like... Let's see here. I, I guess I'll just discuss the next thing. Uh, piss fetish. Um, if you use enough herbs, it seems like, then you're clean enough that you can, you know, if the if the piss smells herbal mixed in with, like, the heavy metal smell, then I guess you can piss into someone's mouth if they don't swallow, you know. But you have to be so clean. Like, so, come so on. Clean. Like, I smoke so much weed, and my urine, some of the time, still, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. 
So, you know, it's just life is toxic and you can't always be clean. I don't know. But yeah, you try as hard as you can. Like, I've cleaned up the basement room in our house here. Um, you know, so no shoes allowed, you know, they've been in town or anything. And since we have a billion visitors along our road a day, we can't even wear our country shoes into our certain rooms of our house anymore because the dust outside is full of their town germs, you know, or whatever. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, yeah, it's just some things to think about. I don't know why I'm adding on to this video. I guess I'll stop now.